अगेन वेलकम्स टू यू ऑन ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ श्री श्याम एजुकेशन ग्रुप बादरा आई एम सुनील शर्मा टीचर ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स टुडे आई विल टीच यू एक्सरसाइज 5.1 ऑफ क्लास नाइन्थ ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स इन फिगर इन फिगर ए सी इज इक्वल बी डी देन प्रूव दैट देन प्रूव दैट ए बी इज इक्वल सी डी ए बी इज इक्वल सी डी दिस इज फिगर ए बी सी एंड डी ओके सोल्यूशन we have ac is equal bd ac is equal bd let this is equation first subtracting bc from both subtracting bc both sides ए सी माइनस बी सी और बी डी माइनस बी सी ओके ए सी में से बी सी लेस हो गया बी इज इक्वल बी डी में से बी सी लेस हो गया देन सी डी एंस प्रोड एंस प्रोड now last question of exercise 5.1 why is axiom 5 in the list of euclid axiom why is axiom 5 in the list of euclid axiom in the list of euclid axiom consider the u causal proof considered a universal truth universal truth
not that the question is not the question is not about the fifth postulate not about the fifth postulate okay solution axiom 5 in the list of euclid axiom axiom 5 in the list of euclid axiom is true for anything is true for anything in any part of the world in any part of the world this is a universal truth this is a universal truth universal truth एक्जियोम फाइव है क्या एक्जियोम फाइव द होल इज ग्रेटर देन द पार्ट द होल इज ग्रेटर देन द पार्ट ये कोई भी पार्ट होता है उसका होल पार्ट है वो उससे क्या होगा बिग तो ये तो यूनिवर्सल ट्रूथ है जैसे ये मार्कर है ठीक है इसका एक पार्ट कौन है ये कैप है तो इस कैप से ये मार्कर क्या होगा बिग होगा ओके दिस इज यूनिवर्सल ट्रूथ ओके Now exercise 5.1 is complete. Now exercise 5.2 will be start. Exercise 5.2 is a theoretical exercise okay exercise 
यूक्लिड फिफ्थ पोस्टुलेट यूक्लिड फिफ्थ पोस्टुलेट so that it would be so that it would be easier to understand easier to understand okay answer this postulate can be written rewritten this postulate can be rewritten as below as below for every line and p is not on l for every line for every line and p is not on l and p is not on l there is one and only one line which there is one and only one one and only one line which passes through line which passes through p and is parallel to l p and is parallel to l is parallel to l okay for every line and p is not on line okay there is one and only one line which passes through p and is parallel to l jaise ye ek line hai okay p is pe line hai to is point p se only one line is given line ki kya ho sakti hai parallel ho sakti hai okay one line is ki kya ho sakti hai jo kis se pass hogi p se pass hogi okay for every line p is not on l ye l line hogi there is one and only one line which passes through p and is parallel to l yani p se only one line pass ho sakti hai jo l ke kya hogi parallel <coughs> okay now question number 7 does euclid fifth postulate imply does euclid fifth postulate imply
the exist existence of of parallel lines lines explain okay solution if a straight line l if a straight line f uh, l falls on two straight line m and l two straight line m and n such that m and n such that some of the interior angles on one side of l such that sum of the interior angles the interior angles on one side of l on one side of L is two right angles. Yeah, is <coughs> is supplementary. It means uh, sum of two interior angle is equal one eighty degree. Yeah, supplementary is there. One eighty degree right here. Okay. Then by Euclid fifth postulate. Then by Euclid fifth postulate. the line will not meet on the the line will not meet on this side of l on this side of l l next we know that next we know that the sum of interior angles on the other side the sum of interior angles of the other side of line l other side of 
line L will also be L will also be 180 degree therefore they will not meet therefore they will not meet on the they will not meet on the other side also other side also okay so the lines m and n never meet and they are parallel so the line m and n m and n never meet and they are parallel and they are parallel okay by diagram karte hain aapko straight line l falls on two straight line m and n such that sum of integer angle it means these are two straight line whose name is m and n m and n okay and a straight line l this is straight line l falls on two straight line m and n such that these are interior angles okay so if straight line l falls on two straight line m and n such that sum of two interior angle on one side of l ye left side mein l ke left side mein okay ये इंटीरियर क्यों है क्योंकि ये मिडिल में है ये किसके इंटीरियर पोर्शन में है पैरल लाइन के ये एम एंड एन के इंटीरियर पोर्शन में है ओके तो सो दीज आर इंटीरियर एंगल्स ऑफ सेम साइड ऑफ ट्रांसवर्सल लाइन इट इज ट्रांसवर्सल लाइन वी कैन से तो द सम ऑफ the interior angles on one side of l is 180 degree then euclid fifth postulate they will not meet on this side of l yani ye left side ka jo angle sum hai wo 180 degree hai to ye m and n line hai ye left side se meet nahi hoyenge okay aur if ye two angles hai इंटीरियर एंगल्स इनका सम 180 डिग्री है तो ये राइट right साइड से भी क्या नहीं होगी मीट नहीं होगी अगर राइट right साइड से मीट नहीं हो रही लेफ्ट साइड से मीट नहीं हो रही तो ये क्या है पैरेलल लाइन है कौन सी लाइन है पैरेलल लाइन ओके तो इसमें एम एन पैरेलल किसकी हो जाएगी एम पैरेलल एन ओके so we know that the sum of interior angles of other side of line l it means right side will also be 180 degree therefore they will not meet on the other side of l yani l ki right hand side mein bhi meet nahi hogi so the lines m and n never meet and they are parallel yani simply aap samjho l m and m and n r two lines straight line and l is a transversal straight line such that sum of interior 
angles is 180 degree of left side of L. So line M and N are not meet on left side of L. Okay. M and N will not meet on left side of L. Okay. Ye left side se meet nahi karenge. Or if sum of interior angles of left uh, right side of L is 180 degree so lines M and N will not meet on the right side of L ok this side may sum of angle kitna hoega sum of interior angle 180 degree hoega to us side may jo lines hai wo kya nahi hoega meet nahi karega ok or wo line kya hoega parallel line hoega ok so our uh, exercise 5.2 is complete तो नेक्स्ट वीडियो में अपन स्टार्ट करेंगे ट्वेल्व नंबर चैप्टर हिरोन्स फॉर्मूला ओके क्योंकि अब ज्योमेट्री और ज्योमेट्री क्या है आर्ट पोर्शन है तो वो ऑनलाइन की कंपेयर में ऑफलाइन ज़्यादा समझ में आएगा ओके तो अभी स्कूल स्टार्ट होएंगे तो आपको ऑफलाइन वहाँ पे करवाएंगे तो उस उससे पहले अपन जो ट्वेल्व नंबर चैप्टर है इरोन्स फॉर्मूला वो इजी चैप्टर है तो वो आपको ऑनलाइन स्टार्ट करवाएंगे वो नेक्स्ट वीडियो में तो आज के लिए इतना ही थैंक्स